with liberty and justice for all. Mr. President. Good evening, Councilors. Councilor Sullivan. I was hoping we could take a moment of, per, uh, a moment of silence. Uh, it's actually Councilor Azak, second constituent, but really a good Brocktonian. Peter Paz passed away. Um, really just, just a, a really nice human being. He was a, a father, a grandfather, and he was a really good friend, really buddies with uh, Chris McMillan, our former colleague. He passed away, uh, uh, unfortunately, this weekend at the age of 51. So if we could do that, I think that would mean a lot to his family. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Clerk, you ready? All set. Okay. The acceptance of the minutes of September 10th, 2018, City Council meeting. Accept and place no file. We have the appointments of the promotion of William C. Carpenter to Council the rank. Sullivan. Mr. President, I'm going to ask that we take these collectively items two through seven. I'm also going to act that we uh, we take these under suspension rules and act these tonight. Second. Motion made and seconded that we're going to take them collectively. We're going to act on these tonight. All in favor of that? Mr. Clark, please read the, uh... Promotion of William G. Carpenter to the rank of Sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. Promotion of Arthur McNulty to the rank of Lieutenant in the Brockton Police Department. Promotion of Kenneth Ellis to the rank of Sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. Promotion of Edward Kurshank to the rank of Sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. Promotion of Christopher McDermott to the rank of Sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. And the promotion of Robert Toledo to the rank of Sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. Questions on, on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's 10 in the affirmative. Mr. President, I make a motion for reconsideration. I hope it does not prevail. Second. Second. Motion to be made and seconded for reconsideration. Does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. The appointment of Jason Mosley as a special police officer, the city of Proctor for a one year term ending September 2019. The reappointment of Kevin A. Smith as a special police officer, the city of Proctor for a one year term ending September 2019. The reappointment of Daniel J. Vaughn as a special police officer, city of Proctor for a one year term ending September 2019. To the appointment of Julie Marshall as a special police officer, City of Proctor, for one year term, ending September 2019. To the, Committee on the reappointment of Janet Frizzell Hancock as a special police officer, City of Proctor, for one year term, ending September 2019. To the Committee on <coughs> appointment of Julie Castor of 55 Oak Street, Hyde Park to the position of part-time assessor for the City of Proctor. To the Committee on we have a hearing. Petition of dynamic collision for a transfer of a motor vehicle repair body license located at 1114 uh, Montello Street and City Clerk's Office, August 1st, 2018. Hearing is signed for September 24th, 2018 at 7 p.m. All the necessary paperwork is on file and the fire department has no objections. Time haven't arrived. I declare the hearing open. If there's somebody here in favor, I would ask them to come up and please speak. Uh, my name is Michael Pomelo. I'm owner of Dynamic Collision. I'd like to transfer my license from 181 to my new residence, which is 1114 Montello Street. I've, uh, all the proper work has been done, all the electrical, the spray booth, the fire department's been there. Everything's been written off. I just need to go ahead so I can continue my business in Brockton. Okay. Anybody, uh, yeah, just a question. You just said your residence, but you mean your business. My business, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Councilor Nicastro. Uh, good evening. Mr. Pomelo, um, you are transferring this and we're going to merge this in with your existing license, is that yes. right? And you've asked me to increase your Saturday hours from 7 to 3.30 until 7 until 7. Yes. And I think we can go along with that, okay. uh, subject to review. If there's any problem, we may roll you back in the future. How's that? That works fine. And I think all the rest of your existing conditions will remain the same, the stipulations on your existing license. Yes. Do you need me to read those? Uh, I don't think, do we need them right, Mr. Clark? I beg your pardon? Conditions are staying the same. Do we need them right again? No, not if they're going to stay the same. We'll just transfer them from that license to this one. From the next, yeah, all right. that's fine. Thank, Thank you. Very. Thank you very Anybody much. Else in, uh, Anyone else who wants to be heard in favor of, please come forward and state your name and address to the clerk. 
Hello, my name is David Lynch. I'm a neighbor, a very dear friend of his, and I own the property. I would really appreciate it. We've done a great job on the property. We've done a tremendous job on it. As everyone knows what it was down there, I think we've done a pretty good job on the Camp Hollow end of the city, and I'd really appreciate it, guys, young ladies, and thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone else who wants to be heard in favor? Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Anybody here in opposition? Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. The question now is on granting. All in favor? Second. Pardon me? Motion to grant. A motion to grant. Motion to grant. Second. All in favor? Opposed? So granted. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, everyone, very much. <coughs> Petition of Christopher Sausman for a license to solicit and canvas on behalf of the direct energy and alternate energy provider. Uh, time having arrived, I declare the, the hearing open. And if that gentleman is here, we should come up and state your name and address the microphone here. All right, Christopher Sausman. Christopher, and you're uh, soliciting for canvassing, I believe. Is that for direct energy? Is that it? Yes. Yeah, okay. Councilors, any questions? Councilor Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. President. Good evening. Thanks for being here. Yeah. What, do you, what, do you, what, do you, uh, what are your plans in terms of, you're going door to door, correct? Yes. What, what are the hours that you go? What's the earliest you go and the latest you go during the day? So usually by the time we get to like our neighborhoods, it's about like one o'clock. And then um, we go until like seven o'clock at the latest. Seven o'clock at yeah. the latest. Can we put a stip on that? Because I had someone come to my house at uh, quarter nine one night, oh. and that's unacceptable. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, not not you guys, yeah, but yeah. someone else did. Also, you have to carry a badge. You yep. know that, right? Yeah, but it has our, to be displayed. Yeah, we actually have our IDs and our um, city permits for the city of. Um, and they'll both Boston. they'll be visible to the public. Yep. They'll be out. Okay. Okay. Thank you. What was the time frame again? I'm sorry. One to se one to seven. Oh, one seven. to seven. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Anyone else, Councilor? Council um, how long do you plan on doing this? Like in terms of like a year or like a couple months? Uh, I mean, it would really depend on how like, like if we, like our plan is just talk to as many people as we can. So okay. we're gonna go through, like we, it's pretty organized how we do it. We'll go and just talk to like pretty much as many um, residents as we can, see who we can help out with, um, with their electricity. No, what I'm saying is that in terms of like, I mean, I know, I mean, how do I put this? Um, I mean, let's say that you start in, October, so I'm assuming this is something that will be until like 2019. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you don't know. I mean, it just. It, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how long it will take us to go through, like, to finish off, like, through the city of Brockton. Okay. But um, I guess what we're looking for is, um, I think it was a year that we were looking for. Okay. Have you done? Have you have you done this before in? in uh, not in, in Brockton. In, okay. Not in Brockton. No. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome, Councilor Powell. He asked my question, Mr. President. Thank okay, you. Very good. Anyone? Anyone else? I declare that part of the hearing closed. Anybody here in opposition? See none. I declare that part of the hearing closed. The question now is on granting, and I would indicate that granting with the stipulation that it would be between one and seven p.m. All in favor of that? Opposed? So be. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Petition of Jacob Burleson for a license to solicit and canvas on behalf of Direct Energy and Alternate Energy Provider and Clerk's Office, September 10th, 2018. Hearing assigned for September 24th, 2018 at 7 p.m. Time right. I declare that hearing open, and I believe we have Jacob in front of us. Good evening. How are yes, you? Yes, sir. Good evening. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Anything you'd like to say? Uh, Same thing that you said. <laughs> He's followed in his face. Yeah, I mean, it's just um, to kind of answer your question a little bit better. Uh, Brockton, roughly like 90,000 residents or whatever, according to citydata.com. So kind of, we, we always go for a year um, permit as best we can, just because it gives us more time to kind of saturate our market. Um, but other than that, that's, to answer your question a little bit more in depth, that's all I would add. Very good. Yeah, yeah Mr. President, tell us, tell us um, have you done this before? Like, like have Not you Brockton, done? But I've been, yeah, door to door for about three years now. So okay. So with the yeah. same, with the same company? Uh, direct, I've worked with another, I, we moved up here from New Jersey a couple months oh, ago, okay. so I've worked with other alternate energy providers, yes, but direct energy is the, um, a little bit better, and they pay us a little bit more, that's why we're up in Massachusetts, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I've been, but I've been doing door to door for a while. So in terms of town and cities, I mean, how many towns and cities have you guys done this before so far? Great question. Um, I can't, I can, I can speak for myself, okay. but we have an office of about 25 people. Um, just Chris and I are applying for Brockton, mm -hmm. um, but we've gone through most of the city, um, so like Brighton, Hyde Park, 
um, Framingham, which is where our office is centrally mm -hmm. located. Um, we're in finishing up Waltham right now, Milton, and the rest of us are heading to those that are applying for other permits are going to Watertown because it's um, different cities only need the Boston city permit. So okay. um, as we kind of go where it's easy to, easier to go. <laughs> well, sounds good. Thank you, Mr. President. No problem. Mr. President. Thank you. Oh, good evening. Thanks for being here tonight. No Same thing. I mean, you concur one to seven is. is oh, yeah. Okay. If I'm not going to endure a quarter to nine, you don't want to talk to yeah, me. Yeah, no. Anyway, so. no. <laughs> do you guys go uh, in pairs? You work one side of the street, someone else works another, or do you depends, just go solo? It depends on um, experience level and everything like that. Chris and I are both pretty experienced, so we'll probably both be either um, solo or if we want to have some more fun, we'll be together. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, my, my, I think my biggest concern is, no. first of all, you guys are doing it the right way. There's a lot of solicitors that come that, that, that don't do it the right way. Direct, direct um, energy, yeah. But that's, the, that's the senior it. citizens, I mean, it, someone's knocking on my door at 645, I mean, you know. So yeah. I just I would just ask you, err on the side of caution when you do your list, and you know, like when we walk campaign-wise, we know who, who we're knocking, yeah, yeah. you know, in the age and demographics. So yeah. um, thank you. I appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Counselor. Anyone else here who wants to be heard in favor, please come forward and state their name. See none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Anybody here in opposition? See none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Question is on granted and with the same stipulations between 1 to 7 p.m. Um, motion has been all in favor? Opposed? So granted. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. You. Good, Good luck. luck. Thank you. Petition of Mass Electric Company of Verizon, New England, Inc. Request of permission to install stub pole 3-84 on Spring Avenue, 40 feet northeast of existing pole 3 in order to remove two guy wires off a tree per the city of Brockton. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. If somebody here in favor, please come forward, state their name to the clerk. Good evening, how are you? My name is Simon Young. I'm a Brockton engineer. I'm representing okay. Peter Ng that took care of this engineering. And we're basically removing the tree guy wires from the dead trees from these two locations and installing a stub pole to support the existing poles that's on the other side of the street. Okay, very good. Any questions, Council? Does anyone have any questions? Is there anyone else here in favor that wants to be heard? Please come forward. I'm going to I'm going to get right to that next. Is there anybody here in opposition? Please come forward. My name is Emily Lacature. My mother owns the property, Rita Lacature. I'm a power of attorney because of her dementia. I measured 40 feet north of pole 39, and it's our front lawn. So I imposed the stump pole on our front lawn. I don't know where you plan on putting it, but where, where were you going to put the stump pole? Uh, I believe the would be next to the dead tree. I wasn't the one engineering it, so usually it will be at the edge of the sidewalk. It's going to be on the sidewalk? Yeah, at the edge of the sidewalk. Okay, because the guide wire before was in our dead tree. That's why you yep. had to take the guide wire out, because the tree died. Right. So there's another tree next to it, so I'm not sure. I was on site, so if there's another tree next to it, we wouldn't use that tree again. I understand that, but you're going to put it on the sidewalk, then. It's not going to be on our lawn. Yep, right. it correct. Be on, if it's on your lawn, we'll ask you for a all right, thank side. you. All right, I'm all set? set with that. I just don't want it on my front lawn. <laughs> okay, no, we're all set. Okay, anyone else who wants to be heard in opposition to, please come forward and state your name and address to the clerk. I'm Enrique Fernandez. I'm the owner of the 369 Court Street, which uh, pole 39. All right, feet. we didn't get to that. We haven't gotten to that one yet, sir. That would be yes. next. Okay, it's the next one. It's the next That's one. That's our next one. Next, next. Okay. Yep. Sorry. Anyone else in concerns with the uh, Spring Avenue one? Yeah. No. I declare the hearing closed at this point in time. We'll be acting on this one at the end of the uh, at the end of the meeting. Okay. So, President, was there was there a plan submitted relative to this matter? I was there a plan submitted, uh, Mr. Clerk? I'm sorry, I can't. Is there is there a plan? Was there a plan submitted in regards? Yes, there's to this? a plan. Yeah. Both of these submitted, right? Okay. It is, it is in the And it was office. clearly illustrated that it, would, it has to be on the public domain. It can't be on private property. It was clearly, clearly depicted as such. Clearly shows where the poll is going. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Yep. We'll be acting on that at, at the end of the meeting. Okay. Next item. 
Petition of Mass Electric Company of Verizon New England requested permission to install stub pole 39-84 on Court Street, 40 feet north of existing pole 39, in order to support leading pole 39. A guy wire was previously removed from the tree in front of house number 366. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. If there's someone here in favor, please again state your name to the clerk. My name is Simon Young, a uh, Brockton engineer. I think it's going to be the same issue as the uh, other one. Uh, we're placing the tree guy with a stub pole. I think the lady over there was talking about this, this one. Okay. So. That's what I thought too. Yeah. Is there anyone else here that wants to be heard in favor of? Please come forward and state your name yeah. and address to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Is there anybody here in opposition who wants to be heard? Please come forward and state your name to the clerk. My name is Enrique Fernandez. I'm the owner of 369 Court Street. Okay. Um, I believe Verizon and uh, Electric Company, they were there about a year ago. They replaced the pole and they left a st stub pole there after they took the cable across from 366 uh, Court Street, one you guys talked about earlier. So now I don't know what they're talking about, what they plan on replacing, but they haven't took the old pole that was damaged and never took it down. They left it there. Pole 39 that, that actually feeds into my building, okay. and all the wires are sagging because yeah. the old yeah. stub pole is still there. It's the pulling all the weight. Is, yeah. is, is that is that something that you're gonna you people are gonna look at removing um, and taking a look at trying to? I wasn't familiar with the site, so okay. I was here representing the engineer. He told me this shouldn't be any issues, or I'm, with, I'm not familiar with an extra pole that needs to be removed. Well, they, they replaced pole 39 last year because it was leaning and it was damaged. Right. They went in, they replaced the pole, they changed all the wiring over to the new pole, and the original pole that was, that was leaning, they, they cut half of it, and half of the stub pole is actually still there. Right. Well, they so never came back pole. to me. I'm sorry? Double pole. So double pole. Huh? So they, they, they got two, yeah. They, so yeah, exactly. I, I, to be, to be truthful with you, and, and no, resent, not being resentful to the gentleman that's here, it seems that to be a habit that when we take down a pole, We'll, we'll take everything off, we leave half of it, and it stays there for 10 years, to be truthful with you. I'd hate to tell you <laughs> the ones I have in my ward, but um, I think this one here, I think we should postpone and get some accurate more information for okay. um, for the Navy to make sure that, um, you know, it's being done the correct way. So That's moved. my thought. I, okay. uh, on, on, the, on, the, on the idea of a motion, I mean, I, I, my humble suggestion would be to make it conditioned upon them removing. removing the double pole, that the council would only grant this and it would only be verified as approved if the double pole is removed, because I agree with you, they're, they're ramping throughout the city yeah. and I understand how it works but right. um, as opposed to I mean he's just pinch hitting for someone and thank you for being here tonight but instead of postponing it you know we do a condition precedent that we're only going to grant it and they can only get approval from the clerk's office with the I'm proof gonna, that the double poll is removed that. that'd be my suggestion when we get to that point at the end of the right when we get to when we get to that point and we just got to make sure that through the clerk's office that it is it has been done to make to sure that it has been satisfied to the to the neighbor to be truthful with you not just that you know we mentioned it on a piece of paper it's got to be correct right. so we will di we will discuss that when we get to the it, it, to the end of it okay because we appreciate we'll, that we go into the end all right Thank you very much okay anyone else here in opposition like to be heard c9 to declare that part I, of the hearing closed councillor azak i just have a question that i need clarified um the gentleman stated your name is simon young yes. Um, you said you're a Brockton engineer. I would just like to, you don't work for Bro the city of Brockton. It's for the company, correct? Oh, okay. Sorry about so, that. No. Yep. So are you an engineer for um, Mass Natural Electric Grid. Company? Mass Electric. Okay, thank you. Yep. Next item, Mr. Clerk. We have the report of the audience committee for this meeting of September 6, 2018. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Public Safety Committee for its meeting of September 17, 2018. Accepted and placed on file. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of September 17, 2018. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Chief of the Fire Department requesting that the City Council authorize the acceptance of expenditures of grant funds in the amount of $671,897 from the Federal Emergency Management a Agency and the Department of Homeland Security to the City of Brockton Fire Department grant fund. The intended use of these funds is to fund the purchase of 90 self-contained breathing apparatuses, 87 face pieces, a breathing air compressor, and a cylinder fill station for the Brockton, Theater, uh, Brockton Fire Department. 
This will replace their entire inventory of breathing apparatus and update their filling capabilities. There is a 10% match from the city, which is required in the amount of $67,189. An appropriation from unappropriated estimate receipts of fiscal 19 of the general fund, $67,189. Confide apartment FEMA DHS grant match, $67,189 is requested. Accepted and placed on file. <clears throat> Communication from the mayor recommended the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the chairman of the Board of Assessors requested in accordance with section 2-131 of the revised audiences, the authority to offer a hiring rate at top step for the position of part-time member Board of Assessors for Julie Castor. Accepted and placed on file. <clears throat> we have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have file. a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO requesting in accordance with section 2-131 of the revised audiences the authority to offer a higher rate at top step for the position of budget director for Karen Preville and in order to do this, hereby request an appropriation of $10,000 from unappropriated fiscal 19 receipts of the general funds, <clears throat> $10,000 to the Finance Department Personal Services, <clears throat> $10,000. The position does not require council approval, but the salary decision does. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from a chief procurement officer supporting the sale of former Whitman and Howard schools. Both buildings have remained vacant for many years and no longer have any use of the city. If the disposal of the properties is approved by the city council, the chief procurement department, in conjunction with the Office of Planning and Economic Development, will begin the process of selling by way of RFP. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the Accepted same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the executive director of the Procter and Redevelopment Authority, notifying the progress report of the Petronelli Way Municipal Garage. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending that the city council authorize a loan of $5 million as suggested by the city bond council, Richard Manley of Lock Lord LLP. The borrowing is to provide funding for the additional cost of Petronelli Way Municipal Garage project as detailed in a letter to him dated September 7, 2018, from Robert Jenkins, Executive Director of the Brockton Re Redevelopment Authority. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same, however, that is a conditional certification. Accepted and placed on file. We have the promotion of Brenda Perez. Councilor Sullivan. Mr. President, I'm gonna ask that we take uh, collectively 36 to 47, agenda, 42 agenda items, please, 36 to 42. Second. Mm -hmm. Motion been made and, and seconded. We're going to take uh, these uh, items collectively and suspend the rules and uh, act on them, correct? We don't need to suspend. The following we promotions. No, just just take them collectively, Council. Okay. I mean, Mr. Clerk. The following promotions read in City Council September 10th. They were referred to the Standing Committee on Finance and the report on all of them were favorable. The promotion of Brenda Perez to the rank of Sergeant. And the promotion of Victor Perez to the rank of Sergeant. We have the promotion of Frank Rodario to the rank of Lieutenant. We have the promotion of Kevin Jones to the rank of Lieutenant. The promotion of Christopher LaFrance to the rank of Captain. The promotion of William Hallisey to the rank of Captain. And the promotion of William G. Carpenter to the rank of Temporary Sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. Confirmations by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Mr. Chairman and uh, Mr. President, I have a quick question. Councilor? Uh, I'm a little confused because I believe in um, in agenda item number number two, yes, we basically um, promoted William G. Carpenter to the rank of sergeant, but yet now, on this particular item forty-two, he is being he, promoted to a temporary sergeant. Because at that point in time, the temporary position was a backfill position, and then the ones that were before you this evening are based upon the ordinance that so, just was passed. So what happens to the temp sergeant? It, it basically it's gone. is in limbo. It's gone. Pretty, yeah, it's, it's pretty much gone. That's why. Right, That's what you. happened to it. 
Madam Clerk, please A call the roll. <laughs> ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The orders are confirmed. We order that the City Council hereby declare that the vacant land on Thatcher Street in Brockton, Mass, identified as Assessor's Parcel 132-015, Plot 21, containing 36,100 square feet, more or less, described in a plan dated March 8, 2018, entitled Plan of Land Prepared by J. K. Holbrook Engineering, Inc., Registered Professional Engineers and Land Surveyors, and more fully identified in Exhibit A is surplus property and available for disposition, and that the Mayor and or the Treasurer be authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to sell the property for nominal consideration to Donald A. Galante, Jr., as he is the trustee of the Regal Trust, a mass nominee trust dated May 11, 2000, and recorded at Book 818, 512, page 1 of the Plymouth County Register of Deeds. In Council, June 25, 2018, ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Mr. President, I make a motion for reconsideration. Hopes it doesn't prevail. Second. second. Motion has been made and seconded for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Petition of sign design of 170 Liberty Street, Brockton, for a sign permit located at Marion Brothers, 137 Main Street, Brockton, Mass., in Council August 27, 2018. Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Public Safety. That report was favorable. The question on this is granting by a hand vote. All in favor of that? Opposed? So passes. Petition of Smart Device Solutions, LLC, Kyle Barbario, for a secondhand articles license located at 200 Westgate Drive, and Council August 27, 2018. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Public Safety. That report was favorable. Question again is on by a hand vote. All in favor? Opposed? And granted. Audit in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the state election will be held <coughs> on Tuesday, November 6, 2018, at the designated polling places. Refer to the Committee on Finance. Ordered that the moratorium for the issuance of sewer connection permits in Ward 6 are terminated. Mr. President. Councilor Lally. I would like to make a motion that we suspend the rules and act on this item. Second. Now. Uh, really, the actual sewer, sewer moratorium expired a long time ago. Uh, all this is really doing is, uh, you know, placing us in a position where we can be sued. There's no, there's no point. It carries no weight. It doesn't really need much discussion either. No. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded that we suspend the rules and act on that this evening. All in favor of that? Opposed? <laughs> Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Neary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Nicas Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered in accordance with Section 2 131 of the revised ordinances of the City Council, authorized the Chairman of the Board of Assessors to offer a hiring rate at top step for the position of part time member, Board of Assessors, for Julie Castle. Refer to the Committee on Finance. Order that the City Council hereby declare the Whitman School at 25 Manamet Avenue, map 059, parcel 046, as shown on the attached plan, surplus and available for disposition and sale to the most advantageous proposer after soliciting requests for proposals. And further, that the Mayor be and hereby is authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to dispose of said property. Referred to the Committee President, on Real Estate. Council if I could, Sullivan. there's a Scrivener's error. It's 25 Manumet Street. It's not an avenue. It's Manumet Street. I know that because I walked it for six years going to the Whitman School, up that <laughs> little hill. Manumet Street. Both, both, both ways. <laughs> with no shoes. <laughs> we'll make that correction. Thank you. Yeah. Order that the City Council hereby declare the Howard School at 849 North Main Street 
Map 103, parcel 090, as shown on the attached plan, surplus and available for disposition and sale to the most advantageous proposer after soliciting requests for proposals, and further that the mayor be and hereby is authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to dispose of said properties. Refer to the Committee on Real Estate. Ordered that the sum of $5 million is appropriated to pay additional costs for developing a parking garage and for making street and traffic improvements within a development district approved by the city and be intended taken in conjunction with Trinity Financial. And that to meet this appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval, uh, approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursue it to Mass General Laws, Chapter 40Q, the District Improvement Finances Statute, Mass General Law, Chapter 44, and or other enabling authorities, and to issue bonds and notes of the city, therefore, that such bonds or notes shall be general obligations of the city. Although such bonds or notes shall be payable in the first instance for property tax revenue expected to be derived from the new development within the development district. The amount authorized to be borrowed pursuant to this order shall be expended in addition to all amounts previously appropriated by the city for this project, as well as all other amounts received by the city from the Commonwealth of Mass and from Trinity Financial to pay costs of the projects. Audit any premium received by the city upon the sale of any bonds and notes approved by this order, lest any such premium applied to the payment of the cost of issuance of such bonds or notes may be applied to the payment of costs approved by this order in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 20 of the General Laws, thereby reducing the amount authorized to be borrowed to pay such costs by a like amount. Ordered that the city treasurer is authorized to file an application with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Municipal Finance Oversight Board to qualify under Chapter 44A of the General Laws any and all bonds or notes of the city authorized by this vote, and to provide such information and execute such documents as the Municipal Finance Oversight Board of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts may require. Referring to the Committee on Finance and Councils, I, I just want to make a, a point um, that number 49 and 50 both go to real estate. I may have made a mistake on one of them, so they're both real estate items. Mr. President, Councilor Fowle. on the item that you just read, there is a companion agenda item, a resolve, which uh, Councilor Sullivan and I filed, and we, we thought that it might be wise to put that to the second finance meeting in October to give people a chance to prepare materials and get them out to the Council. Okay, we can do that. That's yep. acceptable to you. Thank you. Okay, very good. And that's going to finance, so we're number 52, correct, Mr. Clerk? An appropriate of $10,000 from the unappropriated fiscal 19 receipts of the general fund, $10,000 to finance department personal services. Referred to the Committee on Finance. An appropriation of $671,897 from the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Department of Homeland Security to Brock, City of Brockton Fire Department grant fund and an appropriation of $67,189 from unappropriate estimate receipts of fiscal 19 of the general fund to the fire department FEMA DHS grant match. Refer to the Committee on Finance. Involved that the Chief Financial Officer, John Condon, Director of Planning and Economic Development, Rob May, appeared before a committee of the City Council to review the parking garage project the reason for the deficit, and the strategies to ensure adequate funding for the construction of this facility. Refer to the Committee on Finance. We have the granting of Madison. President. Council Sullivan. Yeah, we'd respectfully ask that that be the second FinCom in October. Okay. Thank you. We have the granting of Mass Electric Company of Verizon New England Inc. request of permission to install stub pole 3-84 on Spring Avenue, 40 feet northeast of existing pole 3, in order to remove two guy wires off a tree for the city of Brockton. The question on, on this one is granting by a hand vote. All in favor? Yes. But oh, we have Opposed? the stipulation. This one is granted. This is the Spring Avenue one. Yeah. Granted of Mass Electric Company of Verizon New England, Inc. Request for permission to install stub pole 39-84 
on Court Street, 40 feet north of existing pole 39, in order to support leaning pole 39. A guy wire was previously removed from the tree in front of house number 366. And this is the one we want to trim. Council Sullivan. Mr. So President, I'd respectfully ask that we do a conditional approval of this with the condition precedent that there has to be proof to the city clerk that this double pole was uh, indeed removed prior to uh, formal approval and granting. Okay. That's in the form of a motion. Second. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. And, and <clears throat> you got that information, right, Mr. Clerk? Yep. Okay. All in favor of that by a hand vote. <clears throat> Opposed? This is late. So be. Mr. President, there's a late file at the desk. Yes, there is a late file. Order and counsel. Motion to accept two. the late file. Second. Second. Yes. All in favor? So moved. So moved. Yep. Go right ahead, Mr. Clerk. And counsel, September 24, 2018, order that the current moratorium relating to marijuana retail sales, cultivation, distribution, or other related activities enacted by the City Council pursuant to Section 27-24 uh, paragraph three, excuse me, <clears throat> of the revised orders of the city of Brockton shall not apply to those medical marijuana dispensaries, medical marijuana treatment centers, medical marijuana manufacturers, medical marijuana retail dispensaries currently located within the city and which are licensed or provisionally approved or have provisional or final registration and or are grandfathered under 935 CMR 500 by Councilor Woodford Fowl, Council at Large, Council President Dennis R. Ian Airy, Council President. This will be this item will be referred to the Committee on Finance. Okay. Correct? All right. Yeah. Any uh, Council Sullivan? Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege, if yes, I sure. could. Um, first of all, I just want to let my colleagues that, that sit on the ordinance Sorry. committee with me. We will have a uh, a subsequent ordinance committee meeting. It's going to be on Thursday night, October 18th. It will be here at the Rom Little Theater, 6 p.m. again, October 18th, Thursday night. Um, that night we'll have the two agenda items. We'll have the zoning and also the licensing. Okay, um, so again, if you could please duly note that. And also I want to thank uh, everybody, specifically the people that uh, were in charge. We had a wonderful event in the city of Brock on Saturday, oh, local 144 100th anniversary. I know many nice. of us were there, uh, and it was just uh, really a special day. So kudos to them, and I think we should give a round of applause. 100 years <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I heard it was a very, uh, it was an outstanding, uh, yeah. outstanding affair. Okay. Yes, Council Mayor, is that? A moment of personal privilege. Yes, you may. I would just like to remind everybody that this weekend, September 20, Friday, September 28th, Saturday the 29th, and Sunday the 30th, is the Lebanese Festival um, held at St. Teresa's Church at 343 North Main Street. I hope everybody yes. will be there, and I uh, look forward to enjoying some Lebanese culture with everybody. Thank you. Very good. That's good. Great, Councilor, <laughs> Councilor Fowler I saw first, then Councilor Borg, then Astro. Just a everywhere. moment of personal privilege. You may. Mr. President, uh, I think in the last term, you worked very hard to get a home rule petition passed, which would allow retired Brockton police officers to, re to uh, work details. Every day we have an outside agency send in an officer, we're losing quite a bit of money, 10% on the cost of that job. I don't know what happened to it. I, I'm not suggesting that somebody dropped the ball, but I would like to, if you would, further that along so that we can maybe get some of the Brockton officers who are retired and who pass all of the requirements out on the street to work those details. I, I, I will answer your question to that too, Council, because I asked the mayor that um, just a few months ago because a couple other officers had asked me the same situation. And since our personnel director was leaving at that point in time because there's some language that needs to be worked out, but I said it needs to be taken care of because we spent enough time to try to get it in place, it, it needs to be for our people. So I will talk to him on that and bring that, bring you, him up to you, speed. You have the charm that I don't have, so I know <laughs> it'll get done, so. Mr. President, on that, okay. though, uh, for, yes. for, um, piece yes, of information on that, because they're in the, 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 the state is in the current election, it would have to be refiled in January once the swearing in goes in for the reps and Senate. Uh, right now, if it went up to the state house, it would die. It wouldn't even get the committee based on the timing. So it would have to be reissued after the first of the year once there's a new swearing-in. No, we just got it back last year. They're in now. They're up now, though. The reps and Senate will be up now. But, but everything got pa everything's been passed. Everything's right. Been passed. Right. See what I'm saying? Everything sitting, came back to us. It's sitting somewhere in committee, and it's not 
Not in our committee. No, no, up at the state house. No, it's not sitting there. Well, it was at one point, but then it was refiled because it died. No, what I'm saying now is it would die again. All right, now I'm going to have a quick discussion. Officer, we have it already. It's already done. Yes. Yeah, we have it. It was approved? It was approved, and personnel just yeah, didn't work yeah. on it right away. Really? To be truthful, I'm not trying to be rude. The governor signed it. Yeah. 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 When, did, when did the governor sign it? Yeah, I don't believe the governor ever signed it. Yes, he did. Really? Go. That's oh, yeah. good that we get no, notice came back of that, huh? It came back and forth a few times because uh, uh, Senator Brady yeah, had to bring it Yeah, but the 11 of us oh. were never notified that it was passed. Yeah. I know that for a fact. Who came here? Uh, I believe so. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll check I'll it out. call Governor Baker. He and I are buddies. I'm sure he'll send me a copy. <laughs> no. I will, and I'm not trying to, but Mr. Clerk, Mr. Clerk, if you might, would you please go back and check and see when that was? I already told her to do that. Okay, yeah, because as far as I know, it was it was last, if I'm not mistaken, it was last summer, almost uh, early That's fall. Thought, yeah. yeah, when it came back. It did go back and forth, Council. I'm not disagreeing with you on that. Well, we have the two union presidents. Did it get passed? Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so it did. Okay. All right, good. But what? He will get it, so we, we all have it. Council Beauregard. Thank you, Mr. President. A moment of personal privilege here. Uh, not to be outdone by the councilor in Ward 7. No, actually, we have a downtown Brockton Fest on Saturday. And on Friday evening, they're going to be doing a whole event on boxing, actually, from 2 to 8 at the Brockton Main Library with uh, very dedicated fans, longtime fans of the boxing. This is all free to the public. And the next day, the downtown Broughton Fest is on Main Street, the intersection of Frederick Douglass. And that's going to be going on from 10 to 5 with music and plenty of food to purchase and uh, merchants, art exhibits, and a variety of other things. And also, the Ward 5 meeting will be held on October 3rd at 7 to 8.30 at the Brockton Main Library. That's a Wednesday. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Council. Council Castro. Thank you very much. A moment of personal privilege. The third Ward 4 meeting of the year is going to be held in two, two days. Wednesday, September 26th from 6.30 until 8 in the community room of the B building at the Camp Hello High Rise. There will be one speaker, light refreshments, lots of parking. I invite everyone to attend. Thank you. Very good. Councilors, just one, uh, just one quick, um, or two quick items. Next Monday you'll have finance um, here at 7 o'clock p.m. October the 1st. And uh, at the same time, um, just letting everybody know that um, I'm going to be away from the, uh, the table for a little bit um, as I'm scheduled for um, some surgery next week to take care of my hip. It's, um, oh, good luck. it's time I took care of me, I have to say. So uh, at, at that, be it at that, um, I'm going to turn as uh, council president. I'm going to give the most immediate past president um, will be Attorney Sullivan, Council Sullivan, to... Um, to take the helm for those uh, few meetings that I'm not here, and I'm sure that if he can, I'm sure the former president, Councilor Cruz, can uh, pitch in at the same uh, same time because I will be missing for a uh, for a few weeks. But uh, um, something that needs to be done and has to has to be taken care of. So okay. I'm I'm sure you'll you'll do quite well. I'll <laughs> I'll be paying attention, no doubt about it. <laughs> but I just wanted to make sure. And if something changes, you know how things can change in a hospital and a doctor. So you never know. But uh, that's what it looks like at this time. Thank you. Councilor Darrancourt. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I just want to wish you the best with your surgery, and um, we look forward to seeing you soon again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soccer in the summer. Yeah, soccer in the summer. Running around. Any other business to come before this uh, council this evening? Seeing none, meeting adjourned. <laughs>